Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 214th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. And to start off, I want to say that I'm going to try to keep this week's episode more condensed than usual. I'm really just going to give you guys a sentence or less on the topics that I'm going to discuss in this video. And the rest can be found either through my video coverage that I've created since the last episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors or posts on Best Tech Info or Evasion Jailbreak. Again, everything can be found down below in the more info. And the reason for that is because I'm working on some exciting new changes for my channel, some of which may be evident by the time I release next episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. And other others will kind of be more gradual rollouts. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and continue. And up first, we have the Pangu jailbreak. For those of you who don't know, Pangu released their all new untethered iOS 8 through 8.1 jailbreak utility last month to the public for all iDevices. Since then, and since the last episode in this series, I also covered a new iteration of Pangu that's capable of jailbreaking up to iOS 8.1 on Mac OS X or OS X. And also earlier this week on Monday, something kind of shook the foundation of the Pangu jailbreak, and that's actually iOS 8.1.1, which does patch or close the vulnerabilities that Pangu exploited to achieve an untethered jailbreak on, again, iOS 8. So that's incredibly important for you guys to realize that if you update to iOS 8.1.1, you will no longer be able to jailbreak your device. So at this point, you may be asking, well, if 8.1.1 patches Pangu, is there a way to restore back to or downgrade to iOS 8.1? And I'm going to discuss that, but keep in mind that it will change in the future. So as you may have noticed in the title of this video, I included a question mark. That's because depending on when you're actually viewing this video, it may be one way or it may be another way. It really depends. And for that reason, I will actually include an annotation on the screen now once Apple stops signing iOS 8.1. So just make sure that you view this video on the desktop version of YouTube with annotations enabled. And if you see an annotation stating that iOS 8.1 is no longer being signed by Apple, then there will also be another annotation to skip past everything that I discuss next because of course at that point it will be irrelevant because Apple will no longer be signing the firmware. So with that said, it's very important to understand as well that Apple has to sign a certain firmware for a device to restore to it. And some devices are different. For instance, the iPhone 4 can still restore to iOS 7.1.2, the latest version of iOS 7, whereas all other devices that are capable of upgrading to iOS 8 simply cannot. That's because of course the iPhone 4 was left out of iOS 8, therefore the latest version it can restore to is 7.1.2. So with that in mind, if there's an annotation up, as I previously stated, then that means iOS 8.1 is no longer being signed by Apple. But because they are as of recording this video, then just be sure to follow the next steps to actually restore back to iOS 8.1. So first of all, what you're going to do is just plug your device into your computer via a standard USB cable, launch iTunes, and make sure that iTunes recognizes your device. And if it doesn't, just ensure that you're running the latest version of iTunes. And then from there, simply enter recovery mode. And to do so, hold down the home and power buttons on your device together until you see the iTunes logo pop up on the device's screen. From there, you should receive a restore prompt inside of iTunes itself. And then if you're on Windows, simply hold down shift and left click on restore. And if you're on Mac, then hold down option and left click restore. From there, you will receive a prompt to browse for the corresponding iOS 8.1 IPSW for your device. You will need to download iOS 8.1 as well. And I will include a link down below in the more info. Actually, the first link is the corresponding article to this video on best tech info. And it will have some additional information there as well as whether or not iOS 8.1 is still being signed. So that's another great resource for you guys. And then from there, the restore should proceed. It's also paramount for me to mention that you cannot restore from a backup that was created on a higher firmware. So if you try to restore from a backup that was created on 8.1.1, you were lucky enough to get in and restore to iOS 8.1, it simply won't work. You'll have to restore from your latest backup that was created on iOS 8.1 or earlier. And now next up, I want to talk about iOS 8.2 beta one. That's right, the next major firmware release from Apple. The first beta iteration was actually seeded to registered iOS developers 
quickly following the release of 8.1.1 to the public. So on Tuesday, Apple again seeded 8.2 beta one to registered developers. And it actually doesn't include much by the way of changes. It merely includes integration for the forthcoming Apple Watch. And alongside 8.2 beta one, Apple also issued Watch Kit for developers, which is essentially the SDK for the forthcoming Apple Watch or the software development kit for developers to get a head start on creating apps. So it's an incredibly exciting time for those of you who are interested in the upcoming Apple Watch, because of course developers should have ample opportunity to create some awesome apps ahead of its release. And now next up, I also want to discuss rather awesome development in the status of the next untethered jailbreak. That's right, hacker I Hate Snow has already released a video essentially proving that he's jailbroken iOS 8.1.1 successfully. So yep, after the untethered Pengu jailbreak patching 8.1.1 firmware, the prominent hacker of the previously popular Snowbreeze jailbreak utility has detailed that with the help of another hacker, who's able to create a rudimentary jailbreak utility that functions on a limited number of devices. Now, as of now, I Hate Snow's jailbreak is only compatible with the older iPhone 4S, iPad 2, and the third generation iPad. And the reason for that is because of, quote, no serial over lightning. And definitely don't expect a release from I Hate Snow know anytime soon. He did state, however, that in light of iOS 8.2 beta 1, he will apply what he's discovered thus far to the latest firmware after he's done some work related to school. So he will test it on the latest beta firmware for a potential release in the foreseeable future. And even if iHate Snow doesn't release his jailbreak, there's a strong possibility that Pangu will issue a new untethered jailbreak utility for the next major release of iOS 8, as they've done for the past two public jailbreak tools. So keep that in mind. And I also wanted to state that if you guys need additional information on the current status of the untethered jailbreak, as well as iOS 8.2 and what the firmware has to offer and kind of where things stand in the world of jailbreaking, of course, I will have links to my recent videos down below in the more info. There are three of them. The first one was actually published when 8.1.1 was released. The second one when 8.2 was issued. And the third one when the news broke of I Hate Snow successfully jailbreaking 8.1.1 after the Pangu untethered jailbreak patch. All right, and kind of wrapping things up here, for those of you who want more information on the forthcoming Apple Watch, and no, unfortunately, this isn't an Apple Watch, this is just a Pebble Seal smartwatch, but for those of you who are interested in the device, Apple's all new watch kit SDK reveals new information related to the Apple Watch, particularly the device's resolution and a few other tidbits. So I recommend checking out the coverage on that on Best Tech Info. Also next up, something kind of interesting, Apple's replaced the quote free label with an all new Git label inside of the App Store, which I personally am not a huge fan of, but I guess there was some controversy surrounding the previously labeled free apps because not all of said apps were really free when it came down to it. They are either what people are now referring to as freemium apps or pay to win apps. So that's kind of interesting. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on that down below in the comment section. So just let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the all new Git label. I would have preferred that Apple had done something else, maybe download. That just seems more natural to me. But anyway, as we kind of wrap things up here, I also wanted to mention that today, actually Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U is released. The game that's highly anticipated and the one that's expected to increase Wii U sales has finally arrived. And also while we're on the topic of video games, I didn't get to mention this in the last episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors, but the all new Halo Master Chief Collection game for the Xbox One was released. And that game in reality actually includes four, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary as well as Halo 2 Anniversary, both of which are completely remastered, and Halo 3 and Halo 4. So kind of some interesting news in the world of video games somewhat related to technology and now finally I just wanted to state that we have been doing some new giveaways on free app life as of late if you guys are interested in winning free points on the service which you can then redeem for gift cards paid apps and electronic devices then just be sure to visit freeapplife.com or you can also go to facebook.com forward slash free app life as that's where all of the giveaway details are announced and if you guys like this video and if it helped you downgrade if iOS 8.1 is still being signed and it provided some useful information for you guys, then just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. If you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. And for this week's episode, I think I'm going to make it related to Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So are you guys excited for Thanksgiving if you celebrate it? 
And are you looking forward to the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales that of course accompany Thanksgiving? Again, just be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. And once you've done so, if you guys are interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and electronic devices, then just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. And after tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. And then from there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, and that's it for this video, guys. I have some really exciting stuff planned for you, so just be sure to stay tuned if you aren't already subscribed. Of course, click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you're on the main page for this video. And if you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and cover various things like jailbreak and Apple Watch related topics, then just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me one of your circles inside of Google+, follow me on Instagram at ICUID, and subscribe to my secondary YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash ICUID. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.